Worth of land have burned in Washington and Oregon this fire season. Still, it's been a mild year. That also means millions of dollars of firefighting costs saved. KCI 9 News reporter Chris Lundberg looks at the numbers in tonight's Firewatch coverage. On Mount Pisgah, the burns are still fresh. That was discouraging, but I'm glad they got it out quickly. 51.1 acres of grass, brush, and timber burned away closing the park for days. Just one incident in a fire season that experts say could have been a lot worse. This summer we had, we could go outside and run, we could hike, we could do things without worrying about our air quality. According to the Northwest Interagency Coordination Center, nearly 180,000 acres have burned this year in Oregon and Washington, only about one-seventh of last year's footprint. The weather has been cooler, we've had periodic rain, and uh, we've had a, a lot of firefighting resources available because there hasn't been a tremendous amount of large fires. And it's also behind a significant difference in spending on fire suppression. This year costing more than $83 million. In 2018 around this time it was $521 million, an 84% difference. While there's mud underfoot at Mount Pisgah now, officials tell us that fire season isn't over yet. Campers still need to keep fire safety top of mind, and lightning strikes commonly start fires. We start having really dry air out of the interior in eastern Oregon come across the mountains into western Oregon dry out, and that's when some of our largest fires have occurred. At Mount Pisgah, fire season is far from a memory, but hikers have something to be thankful for. I'm glad it didn't go any farther than it did. I'm Chris Lewenberg, KZI 9 News. Well, public use restrictions.